is unfortunate. Why would you expose your body to somebody else and not only expose it to that person indoors, but with the social media now, it's all over the place. There are things you're doing to please people. And what I also agree to is that lack of self-confidence. So as soon as these girls are made to feel loved by an older man or even their own age group, what they tend to do is that they give their all, including their bodies, and they expose themselves. And then, unfortunately, there are some sick-minded people there, and I say they are sick because it's wrong for them to film all these things. In the first place, it's wrong to do it, but to film it and put it out on social media. I keep telling my teenage daughters that what you're doing now in the future will determine where you go. So if you have a sex tape or a sex video, when you go in for that job as a lawyer, a doctor, a journalist, whatever you're going to do, you just have to press a button, Google, so, so, and so, and so, and so, and it comes up. And so you may lose what you actually had intended to do or where God wants to place you just because of that sex tape. You have to know who you are. And if you're facing difficulties with love, that is definitely not the way to go. If you're a Muslim, we have the, the mosques. If you're somebody who has a counseling unit in your school, make use of it. That is why we're doing something like this. We're real mentors. Recently, I had an email from a lady who apparently was being sexually abused and had some vaginal discharge. And yet she sent it to me. She's a faceless person because I don't know her. She didn't send her picture, but I was able to give her that support and that advice. So seek help, but you must know who you are. If you know who you are, you're not going to give yourself to somebody just because you feel like when you do that, you're going to be loved the more.